Hey guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This is part three. So in the last episode, we rescued Tess from the Forbidden Woods, and now we're on the pirate boat so that we can we can save her, our sister, from the evil bird. In this episode, we have to go across this jumping puzzle with the sniveling guy and hopefully get his reward that he promised us. So let's go ahead and start. Alright, let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. Alrighty, we messed up. Hey, what are you- Oh, that's not the voice. Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump and make it over here. Falling isn't part of the program, Suave. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. When you're hanging onto a rope, you can hold R to tilt left and right on the control sticky to change direction and tilt forward and down on the control sticky to climb up and down. Try it if you like the angle you next jump. Alright, sounds good to me. We have to restart. That guy's voice gets worse and worse every time I do it. Um, he's pretty creepy. So, let's give this another go. There we go. And there we go. Stuck the landing. Perfect. I guess we go this way this time? Perfect. Perfect. Give it a 10. Oh, perfect. All right, let's not mess this up. Later on, spoiler alert, there'll be one that's a lot more difficult than this. There we go, all right. What? You did it already. Dot, 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 dot. I, I'm proud of you as my underling. Um, I, I wonder if it's okay just, just to give him that. I, I don't see why not. I, I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward for the great, generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Awesome. Thank you, Nico. I appreciate it. Um, like I was saying, yeah, it's, it gets a little bit more difficult later in the game, and it's not fun. There will be a lot of a lot of failing in that. So uh, I think we're gonna break these barrels because I'm going to need all these rupees. So, before we get the fantastic treasure. Um, we're gonna need these rupees to, to give to our grandmother. Uh, she, she, uh, she loves rupees. So. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's get the treasure that Nico promised us. You got the bag! You can keep in the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y button, Z button, or X button on the item screen to see what's inside. And then uh, you can use its contents. That's fantastic. Hey, Link, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate the Forsaken Fortress. It is my least favorite dungeon in the entire game. Uh, you guys will find out soon enough. Granted, for this one, you do have quite a lot of time to do it, but, um, still, it's not fun. Let's go on outside. Mama. Hey, Link! Here I am, up here! Alright. I guess we're going up there. Whoa. And there it is, right over there. I guess that's the Forsaken Fortress. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game! For treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there! That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Is that- which one is it? That one. Hmm. It doesn't look very, uh, very inviting. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be a hideout for a no-good group of pirates used complete with- But they were just small time. Now it looks like it's pretty dangerous. Okay. Um, there's the bird. 
that we hit in the face of the cannonball earlier. Ah, I knew it! Look! Over there by the window! Uh, oh, God, what is it? Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock in like that before? Um, yes, I have. I bet you anything that's the place where they, they've got your sister locked up. Yep, that probably is. Looks like the whole place is really tight guard. Ooh, tight guard. That's not good. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. You're probably right. We should probably take a sneaky approach. But what? Hmm, what do we do now? Um... I don't like that look. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> um, yeah. Struggling only makes it worse. Look, don't struggle if you really want to get in this dangerous place like that. This is the only way to do it, trust me. I'm pretty sure there's another way to do it. You could probably take a life raft, a little small boat. That would work. We pirates do this all the time, don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. You get in catapults and launch yourself into castles. Alright. Is everyone ready? Um, no, I'm not ready. Never fear you, kid, we're pros. We're going to launch you good. Yeah, I trust you. Three, two, one. I'm blast off. Well. Oh, God. Oh, wow. And there goes our sword. Well, that sucks. And here we are, the Forsaken Fortress. At least nobody noticed. We made a, we made a very stealthy entrance. I guess that's the point. Whoa! Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was off a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Hey, hey, look. The look on your face. Priceless. Thanks a lot. Can I have my sword back? Hey, I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I can see what you're doing through the stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A flashing, you better press that button. I put the stone in your quest status screen. Press start and use L or right to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? Gotcha. Don't lose it. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna need these to sneak past those undetected. Those lights, if you get caught, they'll throw you back into jail, which is not where we want to go, so stay away from that. That was that was a pretty close call. Now I don't know the exact way around this place. I haven't played it in a while, but I freaking hate it. It sucks because you have to deactivate all those lights before you can get your sister, and it really sucks. So we'll try and get this done quickly because I don't want to spend more than maybe half of next episode on it because it's go. Oh. Let's go up here, and we have to figure out a way to kill this guy. So, lock on. He's gonna try and whack us with a stick. There you go, that deactivates the lights. But if he gets back over to it, it'll turn back on, so we have to actually kill him. What? Oh, oh. I'm going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Come on. Where are those weapons? There's like a bucket of sticks over here somewhere. Ah, here it is. And we'll just we'll just whack him in the face with it and get it over with. Oh, come on! Thank you. Oh. God, this guy is. Uh, Turn out to be a little bit more. Come on, keep hitting him, Link. Keep going. There we go. Get out of here. Good, a heart. Alright. So now we need to get over to that guy. 
And I think well, the only way we can do it is... I don't know if we can actually jump onto that. But... What we're going to do is... Well, I don't know if we can actually get to it over here. So we'll see. Trial and error. Nope. Alright, we gotta jump onto this ledge from up here, I believe. We'll try it out. We'll give it a shot. See what we can do. Nope. Okay, there's a glitch wall there. I guess I have to go through the door over here. So let's see, which one do we have to take out to make sure? We take out that one right there. Alright. That's not too bad. Uh, hopefully I'm just remembering this place being bad and it's not actually too, too terrible. I'll try and end this one at 20 because I remember last episode uh, went a little bit long. But first we're going to get this treasure. I believe it's either the map or the compass. So... You got the map! Alright, good. So we can see where we've been and where we need to go. Tilt up and down on the analog thingy to view, where, view your map. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I think the worst part about this is that you just can't get seen when you're running around. It makes it really annoying, so... Okay, yes, what do you want? What do you want? Listen up, Link! Oh, sorry. <clears throat> There's a monster running the searchlight up there! If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. For you, I try using my shield to deflect monster's blow and see if I can make it drop its weapon. Yep, 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 yep. We know this, and plus, I'm an unarmed person in Oblivion, so I've got a little bit of experience with this. So, <laughs> just uh, leave it to the professionals, Miss Lady. All right, let's see. Where are the buckets? There's got to be a bucket here. Oh. oh, there it is, there it is. Grab it. Come on, come back here. Keep going, keep going, keep hitting him. Get him, Link. Oh, one more hit. Oh, go, go, go. Oh man, he's kicking. He's doing some kung fu stuff. Is that something went? No, it's, it's a ruby. Alright, um... That should be it, because that takes away the searchlight up there, which is the only thing that's keeping us from really making any progress. I think what we're going to do is keep going that way, and that'll get us up there. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go, let's go back down. All right, we'll go on through this door. So I guess we'll go through this door, then the next hallway, and then we'll be in the, the most difficult room in the entire dungeon. There's two big moblins, mobo moblins, whatever, and it sucks. And that thing right there shoots lasers out of its eyes, so not fun. As you can see, it's a good thing Nico. No! Wow! Cheese. I had that linky. Oh, what? Oh, God. Shoots lasers. Get out of here, Link. Oh, wait, we can get this. I wonder what it is. I think it's just a rupee, but might as well. A yellow rupee. That's worth 10 rupees. Not too shabby. Not, not, if, I, not if I say so myself. Alright, whatever. Let's get out of here. I think our max that we can hold is 199, but it could be wrong. So. Alright. Let's not miss this jump this time. Ooh, I don't think I would have grabbed that in real life. But hey, it's Legend of Zelda, so it doesn't really matter. Let's get out of here. I really would like to prolong that hallways for as long as possible. It sucks. Anything in there? Nope. Let's see. Yep, that's where we need to get. We've already dismantled all the searchlights that we need to, so... We'll just go through here. And this might be the room that I'm thinking of that has... The rats and the bats and the ugh. If I can get through this without going to jail, yeah. Okay, this is the room. Oh, that's the door we have to get to. It's right there, but it is the most difficult thing ever. And I don't remember exactly how to do it. So we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait it out. I might fast forward this part, but it depends on how long it takes. Turn back around, Mr. Pigman. Yes. 
That's perfect. I don't remember how much give you have with the... Oh, God, I hate this. Oh, go away. Oh, God. I really don't like this. I really, really, really don't like this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're gonna drop down. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. He's gonna walk past one more time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get away from me. Get away from me. What the heck? Oh, God. Oh, he saw me. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, man. I might have just gotten myself in a situation here. My heart is pounding. Get away from me. Don't sniff me. Oh, God. Get your nose out of here. Oh. 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 Get. Oh. oh, okay, all right, okay, we're good. Now there's one more guy we have to worry about. That There's a guy there, that's where our sword is. We get to fight him, but there's a guy up here that we actually have to sneak past. This is the last guy. I don't think he really gives me too much trouble, but man, there's always that one time where he does, right? Let's see, where's our barrel? Here's my barrel. Ooh, okay, let's see. I don't remember where he walks. I think he comes down this way, maybe. And then... Yep, come down this way. And when he turns around, we'll tail him. And then he'll head over to the right. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. this I tell you, this level gets me on edge so much. I hate it. I think he goes to that corner and he might like look around. I think he does like a little juke out move. Oh, oh man. Because this, this guy catches you, it's the worst feeling in the world. Yes, he does this like, hey, are you there? Who do? I know it. I know he's there. Come on, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, I'm just going to keep the barrel on for a little bit longer because I don't trust it. I do not trust that. All right, let's get out of here. Let us get out of here. Oh, oh, that's the best feeling in the world. Well, close to it. All right, so now we get to sidle, siddle, very slowly. Hopefully my A button doesn't glitch out and just drop me. Jeez, that would suck. Okie dokie. The worst is behind us. I When I first played this game, when I was really young, I got it like, oh man. 2002? 2001. I was so excited to get it, and this is my least favorite place in the entire dungeon. Um, oh man, I remember because I, I got all the way up here my first time, and I had forgotten, like I didn't realize that I had to dismantle the, uh, the searchlight. Oh my god, it caught me. I was like, oh, we can just get right through it. How else am I supposed to do it? And uh, so man, yeah, bad memories with this. Alright, here we go, Link. Yes, our sword! Man, Orc is going to be so happy. Oh, That's not good. Quick, dodge. Yes! You got your sword back! Now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again. Yeah. Oh, God, that'd be terrible. Ooh. Oh! Did you see that? Quick thinking, Link. You did a good job there. Unfortunately, ooh. Unfortunately, you can't, like, uh... Hit them when they're on the ground. Oh, taken down. Good job, Link. If I could fist bump you, well, I would. And there we go. We are all set to go rescue our sister. But we're going to do it in the next episode. Will we save Link's sister? Or will the the bird... I, get, I don't know what else could happen. The bird, maybe, would come and do something. But we will find out in the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it, and I will see you all next time.